You know how on DVD sometimes you're going to get a director's cut with commentary? That is similar to what I'm doing today with Cats at Work. I'm going to go through the first volume, which is 25 Cats panels, and give you a play-by-play -play on the creation of the panel, how the art evolved, and what I was thinking when I was making each one. I hope this series is helpful to those of you who are interested in character art or simply want to get inside my head and figure out what was I thinking when I did this panel. There's over 500 Cats at Work panels, so for me to commit to doing this before knowing whether you guys like it or not is kind of crazy. So let me know in the comments if you're enjoying this series, and I will continue. That said, let's start. So I'm gonna be a little talking head in the corner here, hello. As we go through these panels, I'm gonna try and be quick about it. But first I'm going to just tell you a few of the things that I always like to keep in mind with Cats panels. And you'll notice in these earlier ones, which are based really very much weren't even created with a daily comic in mind. I first was just drawing them in my sketchbook and I wasn't that strategic about it or um, planning a template for them at that point. So so you'll notice that there's some inconsistencies in terms of the picture frame. My palette is a little bit different. The line work isn't as crisp or lines aren't closed. I like to close lines in later cats. In these, they're way more sketchy. So it's kind of like watching a Simpsons cartoon, like way, way from the early days and how different it is from the later Simpsons. Obviously, I'm not the Simpsons, but you know what I'm saying. So the first Cats at Work panel of this series is just the laugh at your job the signature panel i love this cat somehow this cat is just the perfect expression even though in later panels i didn't do the hair the same way it's just much more loose in the earlier panels i love this cat this is the signature cat the second panel is oh boy i've been waiting all weekend for monday just about all these are sketches that i did probably before i had decided to do a comic rainbows up top and clouds and sadness on the bottom. The expression on this cat's face is really atypical to a lot of the cats. He's just like really smiley and really um, exaggerated looking. He's funny. He's a little funny cat. So it's Tuesday. Just don't expect genuine enthusiasm. So this one is very plain. I kind of like that because it speaks to the sentiment in the panel. Although I would not do something quite this plain in the later panels for sure. And you'll notice the palette is very, very washed out. I get into more color later on. But I like this one because the sentiment does match the visual in terms of how simple and stark it is. I love the expression of the cat. Expression is really, really important, especially because working with such a simple character design, you really want to get as much expression in there as possible. And that takes a lot of like practice and just long-term work to work on your character's expressions so that they say exactly what you want them to say and what's going to go with the copy while also maintaining that sort of simplicity because you really want it to be easy to read and quick so you can really connect with the viewer right away and expression is a huge huge part of that Here's that first coffee of the day inner piece. I love how this is a Starbucks cup. I like to add the little iconic images all around the cat, which shows that she's feeling pretty amazing drinking her coffee. Everything's great when you're drinking your coffee and she's really cute. And I really do dig the expression on this cat. I like how her eyes are a little bit close together and she's looking directly at the viewer and she has a little smirk on her face. She's very, very cute. Some of these early ones are very iconic to me in terms of I spent a lot of time working on them for licensing and also some of the early ones are ones that I have posted to social media most frequently because they're older they had more time to kind of repeat so they have sort of more visibility and more recognition I think this is one of those of the ones that I've used a lot in licensing I have redesigned them over and over in different compositional ways so this one is very vertical and clearly it wasn't made for Instagram at the time. This has been reconfigured time and time again. And here's one where I was doing some experimentation with different ways that I maybe wanted to try out text in the composition with the cats in the background. So while I do like that this one is cool and experimental when I did it, it was really hard to reconfigure the composition of this one for product needs. 
Panel six, tropical desktop wallpapers are so, so mean. I love the sentiment on this one because I really did feel this way at work often. As you can see again, and you'll see throughout this whole video, the text is very sketchy and rough. In newer panels, you don't see that. Again, you'll see that the palette is much brighter in more recent cats but I love the expression of this cat. One more thing, you'll notice the um, computer monitors, the backs of them in the older ones are different than in the newer ones for the most part. Here's another one that's a good example of the rough text and the sketchy quality, which you would never see in a later cat. But these really do have a charm all their own. I love them for what they are. And this one I remember distinctly from a sketch that I posted. I, I may have even posted it on my blog. This is way before Cats was even a glimmer in my eye of a webcomic. Instant popularity, this is one of the iconic cats. Everybody can relate to this. I can relate to it. It's also unique because it's one of the few panels that has lots of cats in it or more than one cat. There's a few panels with more than one cat, but I don't think there's any that has seven cats in it. And I love the challenge of getting all the cats in while still maintaining the integrity of what cats at work is, which is, you know, the cat is never seen from below the waist. I still Still got in the rest of the office and the other cats also follow suit. They're sitting at their desks. They're very simple in design yet if you look at the eyeballs and you look at their expressions they're very very expressive despite the fact that they're very very seemingly simply drawn. That's actually one, what I strive for with the cats at work. Editing the cats, editing the art so everything has a place, everything has a reason for being there type of thing. Please leave me alone. I did say please, and I love this one too. This cat's expression is atypical of the later cats. You wouldn't see a later cat looking like this. Very, very sketchy. Everything's very sketchy in this. I love the little smiley face and I love it because it is very much an iconic. It's an iconic panel. I feel like all the earlier ones are very iconic to me just because they've been in rotation for longer and they've gotten more visibility from people who read Cats at Work. They've just <laughs> impermeated themselves into my conscious more, I think, and maybe into conscious of the people that read Cats at Work. So anyway, okay, so being super polite freaks people out. And this one is very notable because I use the word people and it's always been a splinter for me that I use the word people in a cats at work panel. When I think about the concept of cats at work and the fact that there are no people and they don't call themselves by people, I wish I had maybe done something else. Freaks people out is what made the most sense and I used it and I don't think I thought about it at the time. Obviously I didn't and um, so yeah, so it's always sort of been a thorn in my side that I use the word people in a cats panel. So that's what's notable about this one. That being said, I still really love this one. I love the design of it. I love the expression and I love the sentiment. So you can have both things at the same time. <laughs> I guess. This one, it's Friday, Stop Freaking Out Freedom is imminent. This one is notable because the cat is wearing clothes and a necklace, which is unheard of, right? They don't, cats that wear cats don't wear clothes. And um, this one cat does. So this is a very unique cat. This is one of those panels that I've redone it a gazillion different times in different ways. You think you're busy, think again. Hold on, I have to say that right for you guys. You think you're busy? Think again. Now that's more like it. This is a, another example of one that I'm not thinking about Instagram because this is very vertical. This is another one that I have also reconfigured over and over again. In later ones, I would not make the phones black and I would change the shape of the phones. So, bye cat. Oh wait. One more thing that's notable about this one is the addition of expression. So finding a way to express that feeling. I like how I solved the problem here with the squinty little eyes and the three lines, which I end up using quite a bit in Cats at Work. Exploring different ways of doing smile. In some of them, I have like a sharp corner and in some of them, I use these little rounded corners and I like the rounded corners, they're fun. Don't panic. And then we have rainbow beach balls. I love this one. It's probably 
probably one of the most repeated cats at work from the early days. This one is notable because if you look at the computer, it's not scribbled in. It's not one solid gray color. I use this texture in it and I never do that in cats at work. This is maybe the only time I ever did. And it's kind of like my other work seeping into cats at work world. It's kind of funny. So you won't see that again. I really like the iconic style of this one, how simple it is. This one again is vertical. I love the rainbow. This might have been one of the first like super rainbow ones. I promised myself I'd cut down on the coffee the minute I retire. Love the expression on this one. This one became one of my favorite ones at the time that I did it. I think a lot of people related to it, really enjoyed it, and um, I did too. I am so awesome at my job. Well, someone had to say it. I love this one, not so much for the art, which the art is okay. It's just early cats at work. Might be one of the first times the cat's really like giving himself a compliment, being a little bit snarky at the same time. I was really proud of this copy when I wrote it. <laughs> That's all I can say. I really related to this copy, I guess. Departure time safe zone rapidly approaching. So in this one, I use lines to show, you know, aggression and nervousness. This has really never been one of my favorite panels. It's cute. It's not terrible. It's fine. Headphones make me nicer. I love this one because the copy goes with the visual really well. When you're wearing your headphones at work, you're in your safe zone, you're in your like happy land. And then when you have to take them off and talk to somebody, it can ruin your minute. You know what I'm saying? Definitely something we can all relate to. If you look at this cat's face, all these cats really, they're just very, very loose. My line changed quite a bit as cats at work went on. And these headphones, you won't see these headphones phones anymore. It's only Tuesday. We must conserve our energy. You can see how early this one is. The line works completely different. It's much more faint and little and this one's much more detailed. The cat's a lot smaller. There's a way more of the desk. This one was done directly from a sketch that I had done. One of those that I did before a webcomic was like kind of a glimmer in my eye type of thing. It's hard work looking this busy. This one is notable because I don't like the style of of pen that I used in Photoshop. Something's funky about this. I created my own cats at work brush in Photoshop, but I don't know if I created it after this panel or what, but this is not the right brush. The text is not drawn in the correct cats at work brush and that always bothers me about this one. I may be smiling, that's just because I'm not awake yet. I love this one. I like how droopy the cat's eyes are and I just really like this one. It's very simple, but really there's an economy of line. There's there's not a lot going on that doesn't need to be there. I think it's a successful panel. It could use a little more color, but that came with later panels, a little more color. Just don't expect too much and you won't be disappointed. I like this one because it's fun. There's toys in it, which I love. We all have toys on our desk. Most of us do anyway at the office. It's what keeps us happy at work a lot of the time. And um, yeah, I really like this sentiment a lot. Everybody knows someone like this at work. And sometimes us ourselves are like this at work, or at least we're saying this in our heads, even if we're not acting it out. Again, if you look at the face on this one, you just will not see this in a later panel. No way, no how, you know? Look at how loose that is. Anyway, still cute, still a cat at work. Sure, no problem, one of my least favorite panels ever. I just don't know, I just, um, there's not a lot I like about this one. It's, it's fine, it's still a cat at work. I love it for that, uh, it's just not one of my favorites. Why isn't it one of my favorites? I, I don't, just don't like the way that I designed the cat as much and I'm not crazy about the text design. Eh, just don't like this one very much. The louder I type, the busier I sound. This is one of my early favorites. This one I feel is another one that really aptly demonstrates like how I feel at work, how I felt at work. Really summed up a lot for me. I also really like the graphical quality of this one. I like how this one has a real economy of line. There's not a lot going on, but everything that is going on should be there. Perhaps the only thing I would change is some of the hairs on the cat. And and I might make the text bigger. I like this one a lot because I think it speaks to real life. I love the design of the cat. It's just, this one really spoke to me visually as well as the sentiment and I love this one. Please be honest, am I being punked? I love the expression of the cat. 
He just looks desperate and like he's had a rough day. I like the little smokes coming out of the computer. It's just a fun one. And I really like the um, wobbly bubble text on the bottom. I think this might be one of the first times I used that wobbly bubble text and now I use it a lot. <laughs> I love doing text that way. It's one of the styles that I pull out often, just in general, not just on cats at work. This one is also a really good example of a few things. First of all, it's a good example of a cats at work messy desk. When I had a panel where I knew I was gonna do a messy desk, I really wanted to make it an interesting messy desk for the mess to actually connect so that it made sense in terms of the context of the panel's theme. The other thing is I used Am I Being Punked? And we all know like punked kind of became a slang term after the MTV show. When I did this panel, it was not like fresh and new or anything, but it's just an example of using a cultural reference point in a cat's panel. And I really enjoy doing that, injecting contemporary cultural little things in the panels. It brings sort of a weird, bizarro reality into the world of cats. 25. This is the last panel. Just trying to save my sick days. Who hasn't felt this way for when I really need them? This is really from life. Obviously, these all are really from life. One thing you'll notice about cats is some of the earlier ones are like more benign and more general. And then <laughs> some of the later ones a little snarkier. Some of them are a little bit more aggressive and a little more cutting. And so that's just something to note as well. This one was a lot of fun to do. I realized that doing fur this way does not excite me because it's too detailed and it's distracting. I don't think I do a lot of more fur this way, but um, yeah. So this is the last cats panel of volume one and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like this video and you would like to see more, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know. Let me know because it's interesting to see the evolution as it goes, maybe just to me, hopefully to some you too. So um, thank you for watching. I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys. Mwah. Bye.